Hey guys, I'm back again. Check this one out. This is even simpler than the uh, flip flop. But before we get into this a little bit, I want to make darn sure that everybody understands these things are lethal. We're talking about uh, currents and voltages that will electrocute you, and dead is dead. So uh, if you decide to build one of these things, be careful. Just I don't want to hear of anybody being hurt. So that's my little warning. These things are lethal. So here's about the most simple circuit that uh, I think I've ever seen for producing a higher voltage out of low voltage or a DC to a step up converter. It's uh, very simple. Uh, you got a little. Uh, uh, resistor and capacitor filter network up here to keep any parasitic uh, oscillations from running back down the line. Little voltage divider and a LRC network, timing network, feeding the base of a transistor, feeding the uh, primary of a coil, and, and bang, out. Simple little circuit, beautiful circuit. Uh, of course, the larger the uh, the larger the um, coils, the more current you're going to get out, the more windings on the uh, transformer, the more voltage you're going to get out. The bigger the diameter of the wire, the larger the current. Simple as that. The transformers, the, the core material can be... I, uh, I use all kinds of different core materials and stuff like that. I like winding my own because I think it's part of the art of uh, being an electronics engineer because it is art in winding these things. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, throw some components over on the sidebar whenever you open up the video. You'll see a listing of components and uh, a little bit of how, how to do uh, winding the choke and the transformer. Uh, to, circuit that I'm describing here is a 40 watt circuit using a single transistor and this is totally the simplest method that I know of of getting energy into our cells okay hope you enjoyed it thanks for all the good comments bye